The best way to deal with any presence that you sense is to ask them for evidence from them, things you couldn't possibly know. I've even put my own family members to the test when they step into my awareness in meditation. In readings, I ask loved ones always to give me evidence to back up their beautiful messages so that the sitter knows beyond a doubt, this is my loved one. But with my own loved ones, I remember once my father stepped in and I said, dad, tell me something about mom that I don't know, something going on in her life right now so that I am absolutely sure this is you and not a projection from my own desire to hear from you. My dad said, well, your mother just painted her fingernails and she just found her electric curlers in the closet. About an hour later, my mother showed up and I asked her, mom, what's up with your fingernails? And she said, oh, I just painted them for the first time in about 20 years. And then I asked her about the electric curlers and she had indeed just found them. So see, even our own loved ones, we can ask for evidence. Uh, there are many times in a reading where a loved one may want so badly here in the physical world, a sitter may want to hear from a loved one that they'll make things fit. And that's why in my classes, I teach people to go for what I call differentiators. That's those gold nugget pieces of evidence that apply only to a specific loved one. So even if you're projecting onto a presence that it's this specific person, that bit of evidence that comes through will make it clear because those in the spirit world want to be recognized, want to be acknowledged, and they'll work with us if you're willing to stretch yourself to get those gold nuggets.